as you can tell, I have a problem with picking my chin. It's a problem, okay? I pick and pick and pick. So you're gonna start here. A few years ago, I made a video called Doing My Makeup Like The Movies, where I did a makeup that was sort of unrecognizable to the everyday person watching a movie. And I based it off of the movie, The Holiday, with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet. And as I was filming that video, I really did tiny little bits of makeup just to conceal certain areas of my face because Basically the whole premise of that video was like, how do they do that? How do they have these film cameras and you cannot see where the makeup is? So this is not that, but this is the everyday version of that. I want to look like I am wearing no makeup at all with freckles, natural sunspots on my face, but it's not going to be natural. This isn't a no makeup makeup where they're putting concealer all over their face, highlighter, blush, all of those different things. And then by the end you're like, that, that's not no makeup makeup, baby. That's a full face. I want this to be truly so minimal that you're like, you just think I have perfect skin. You just think those are my natural freckles. I'm gonna start out with skin because I think that's the most important part of any sort of true no makeup makeup. And I think that's the area where it's the most obvious is when there is a caked on foundation skin. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little brush. This is the Sigma Eye Cream Brush and I'm gonna use for foundation this right here. So this is a foundation called Dermacol. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this one, but it is like the highest coverage foundation, but you don't need very much of it. I'm gonna be using the shade D -D 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 something, 207. So let's see if this shade works well for my skin. I actually think it does. As you can tell, I have a problem picking my chin. It's a problem, okay? I pick and pick and pick. So you're gonna start here. We're just gonna... Do a little buff. Take a little brush, sort of tough it out. So you can see kind of the vibe I'm going for. The vibe is that we're not covering the entire face. We're just covering areas that need a little bit of coverage and not a ton. So before when I did this, I used my RCMA color palettes and those are great. They work great. Basically what I'm trying to do here is look at areas where there's redness, darkness, and just sort of make those areas toned down a little bit. You can see we've got a little blemish here. So this foundation stays really emollient. It doesn't really dry down super matte or anything like that. It's kind of like a sort of cream base. So as you can see, really taking the tiniest amount, like I'm talking the tiniest amount and tapping it out. And I think even areas up here, I'm just kind of putting it on and tap. I don't actually want to be wearing foundation. And I would say the size of the amount of product that I'm gonna use on my entire face right here is probably about the size of a pea, maybe. So you can see there was some darkness right there. So I saw a technique, cannot remember what it's called. I'm gonna like put it up on the screen if I see it here. And I saw this all over TikTok, people talking about, look at areas where there's darkness and like you sort of cancel that out. And then you look at areas where there's lightness and you put a little bit of darkness in that area. The thing is about that technique that you're seeing on TikTok is I believe the gal that is like touting that is Mask Kara, it's Kara. And she is Kara of Mascara, the MLM. So I'm sure there's some sort of MLM shilling going on and we all know how I feel about MLMs. Maybe you didn't know, now you do, now you do. And if you wanna know fully, watch the video. I will have it linked. So it's not about not using product, it's about using such a little amount that it's not discernible to the human eye. So as you can see, we're still dealing with quite a lot of redness going on right now. We're still dealing with just, you know, it's not really the finished vibe I'm looking for, but as you can tell, we're just sort of slowly building. And this is more of a slow process. This isn't something I would probably do on the everyday, but I do feel like when I start to, when I take a little bit of product, like in the mornings, if I'm just having one of those mornings where I'm like, I'm going out and I need to like look better. I literally just cover these little scars that I've created and then I continue to create every single day that I dig at my face. I can't stop and I won't, I can't be stopped. I won't be stopped. So I have a lot of lower face redness. As you can tell, this is kind of where a lot of my redness is, is on this lower area. Now, I don't mind if it's up here on my cheeks, but on that lower face, it just kind of gives hormones hormonal imbalance. There's no product on this brush. I'm just using it to kind of diffuse that out. All right, now let's take a look and see what areas we can notice right here. And see, I'm not gonna worry about areas like this because I'm actually gonna add 
fake freckles on. This isn't about not doing anything. This is about not looking like you're wearing makeup and having what you do look like it's actually there. Like it was on your face already. You're not wearing makeup. You just have a lot of freckles and I don't. I do have a couple of sunspots as you can tell. Some people might call those freckles. I am not some people. The dermatologist also wasn't some people. This is probably a lot more than a lot of people would wanna do on the everyday. But that's the thing. You don't have to. This is a YouTube video. You see how just I'm talking so slightly, covering the redness in very specific areas really evens out the skin. And I think I have a lot more redness than a lot of people. So if you have a lot less than me, it would be even easier to do. That you don't have to worry about your makeup really coming off throughout the day. It'd be such a natural progression. You could itch your face if you needed to. You don't have to feel like you're cakey. There, it's, it's not. You can't, there is nothing on my skin hardly at the end of the day. I haven't even used half of the pea-sized amount that I put on my table right here. Doing makeup like this is actually kind of fun because it's like doing art almost. It's like you're kind of just adding shadows and highlight and seeing where you can kind of manipulate the light. So that's a lot, but we're gonna really take it down. Hello? Okay, so I have a little bit of darkness on my under eyes. I'm obviously, I'm not gonna like make it look crazy. I just want to tone that down a tiny little bit. Let's see if you can tell I'm wearing makeup. Okay, so I feel like on my under eyes right here you can, so I'm really gonna top that out a bit. I don't want you to be able to tell. But there really is no makeup on my forehead other than right here. Mm, you can kind of tell on this area right here. I'm gonna top that down a bit. Right, and now, I think I'm gonna take a break from the skin for a minute and I'm gonna add freckles. And I think this is gonna add life back into the skin. So I'm gonna go in with the product Freck and I've recently just discovered this and love it. I know everybody already knows about this product. I'm adding color back in and some dots back in. Now that looks intense, but you can really tap this product in and it's almost, you can't really see it, but it gives you the most natural looking freckles. Here, look, I'll do this side here. Dude, it looks so good. This is almost like if I were to be doing prosthetic makeup. So I, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to do a lot on my YouTube channel. I would do special effects makeup. If I were doing prosthetic, trying to make something look like skin, this is exactly how I would do it. You gotta add texture. Removing all texture makes things look fake. That's why when people are wearing like a full face of foundation, they're like, that doesn't look good. It just looks like plastic. You know, everyone's like, oh, you look plastic. That's why, because they've removed all texture, removed all imperfections. The more texture something has like this, the more real it becomes. Maybe this isn't something that people are wanting, but for the video's sake, it is for me. And the thing is, is that freckles don't stop right here. They go up into the eye socket area. Ah! It's okay. The cool thing about this product is it just blends out so nicely. I'm gonna do a couple dots right here. I think it's cute. All right, so as far as brows are concerned, I think this is where things can start looking a little overboard. You know what I mean? You don't know, but it starts to easily get out of control when you start adding tails to things. I'm gonna try to make it look as natural as humanly possible. For this, I'm using the ColourPop Freckle Pen in the shade Dark Brown because it is very sheer. It's kind of like a sheer product, so you won't really see real full lines of it. You'll just feel like this is my natural brow. This is true, like no makeup makeup, <laughs> true. Okay, let's do a little brow gel. Do we have one? All right, now for the difficult part. This is gonna be where we add some bronze to the face, like a bit, okay? I'm gonna use Huda Beauty Glowish, and I am just gonna take a little bit of this, I'm talking like the teeniest amount, and actually put it where you would bronze, if the sun hits you. It's not the perimeter of the forehead, really. There might be some there, but there might be some right here. Most certainly be along the bridge of the nose, because that's where you actually get hit with the sun when it comes down on you. Your chin a little bit here. And blushing, you know, with makeup, 
we put blush here. We have areas that we do this, but real blushing, it's kind of sporadic. It's not really the colors that we choose and that's okay. It doesn't really make a difference. Like the beauty standard isn't to look like you were working out on a farm all day. Unless you're me. Just adding the tiniest bit of color into my face after removing it. <laughs> mascara is gonna be the hardest part because black mascara is pretty obvious. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use a little bit of brown mascara, maybe even clear. Put a little bit of gloss on my lips. This is the ColourPop Lip Oil. And this is the shade Bells. Now this is such a pretty red glossy lip. Now. I'm not wanting super glossy. I don't mind if it obviously looks like I have moisture to my lips, but I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a gloss, just sort of that I have color and moisture to my lips. And this is great because it's this like blood red color, but when it actually goes on, it's just this soft hint of color. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then I'll blot off a lot of the actual shine. So I feel like I overdid it a little bit on the bronzer and that there's a little bit of gap here. Okay, so I curled my lashes a bit, not crazy, because again, I don't want it to look like I'm going crazy on makeup. And I'm gonna wipe off a ton of excess of this mascara because what comes on the wand is a lot. And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. Now this is the part that changes everything. I think that's pretty natural. Okay, I feel like if I saw a character in a TV series and she ran up and was like talking to the camera. Hang on, let's see. Let me try to make her a thing. She wears a little pony. She just does. She's a ranch hand. What do you guys think? Does it look like true no makeup makeup? I feel like if I were to go in public, oh, let me wipe off the lips a little bit. Or if I saw a girl or at the library, I would think she has really nice skin. Really nice skin. Where's her redness? It's gone and it's natural. It's not natural, it's Dermacol. No, but for real, this feels like no makeup makeup to me. This is what actual no makeup makeup is when I think of it. There is no discernible makeup on my face. You would think these were my natural freckles. You would think my skin was just really perfect. It's not cakey because it can't be cakey because there's literally a rice grain of makeup on my face. And to be fair, I know my face is redder than my neck, okay? I know it. If I made my face this color, I would look so beyond pale. So I tend to keep my face just as close as I can. The thing is, is that I'm red. I got a red beard, Captain Redbeard over here. I has to kind of play it safe with makeup. I go a little bit darker than my neck. Not on purpose other than just this is the makeup that I have. But I do think looking at this makeup, you wouldn't be able to tell. I'm gonna get close up to the camera and see if you guys think that it looks like I'm wearing makeup or if it just looks like you just have beautiful skin, young lady. All right, and that is the finished makeup look. Love it, feel comfortable in it, feel good about going out today. Going out in the world, I don't feel cakey, but I feel like the redness and the scars are covered and I'm happy about this look. Man, this is a 180 from 2016, Christy. It just, it, it just is, okay? And that's all right, we change. And this is me some days, and then other days, I want full lashes, okay? I want full beat, but not today. Today is this, and that is okay by me. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you at my next video. Bye! Uh. Um, tech, like, um, what's the word? Um, um.